Hey, look, we're back. And where we last left off, we had gotten to this new garden area. Oh, it's, yeah, it's literally called the garden. So, and I was talking about how goddamn bad I am at horror games. <sighs> also, BRB. Okay, just making sure everything's good. And now we have to wait for the long ass loading. Why is my game taking so long to load? Oh, whatever. Guess I can talk about something going on in the video game industry. So, the Epic Game Store. Some five years later, we are continuing to get reports that the Epic Game Store, I'm oh, sorry, Epic Game Store is not profitable. To which everyone and their mother was that literal, that literally that Arnold Schwarzenegger uh, gif saying, "No shit, Sherlock." Look, I'm all for competition in video games. I honestly am, but you need to create if you want your thing to be competitive. You need to create a better. Can I stack these? No. But yeah, if you want to create something or create something that that uh can beat something that is stupidly popular, you need to create a like medium where it can like facilitate properly. You can hate Steam all you want, but you cannot sit here and tell me that Steam isn't just doing the concept of isn't just doing the concept of what the video game industry has been like pining for. It is the best. And you beat it by being better than them. Yeah. You can't just throw more money at it and expect to win. Because at the end of the day, the market space that occupies Steam is just a bigger and more convenient market that people don't want to split off from. People have hundreds, if not thousands of games on Steam. And not just have hundreds of thousands of games, they... Steam has done so much to cultivate a good, positive uh, momentum and just good, positive goodwill between its community. Is it perfect? Hell no. It's still a company at the end of the day, but Gabe Newell has done things that make it make it seem, even if not always, like, even if it's just PR, to make it seem like they are the good guys, that they are just one of the few, and I mean very few companies that still care and give a damn. You don't really hear about you don't hear about employees miserable over at Steam. You hear about how it's just like, oh, yeah, I'm just working here. Can't complain. Happy with my position. I don't do a lot of work, but, you know, I make money, so don't really complain. That's all you hear about when it comes to Steam when it comes to the employees. So, yeah, the fact that Epic is still trying to force a game store without doing things to actually be better is just why it's never going to succeed. It, I'm, Gabe Newell himself said it best. If you want to beat something, you be better than it. Piracy won't ever stop being a thing. So what do you do? You just make yourself more convenient so that the people don't want to pirate or don't need to pirate. Whatever, dude. They'll... They won't learn. Who am I kidding? Okay. Do you see that? Is that just me? Is that my screen or... Oh, no. It wasn't my screen. Interesting. There's the tower. Also, the sock pop is gonna pop out of there, isn't he? Gordon, yep. Where are you going? Where do you think? What's the matter with you? Don't you want to be our friend? <laughs> yes, I do actually. Funny way of making friends. I'm lucky I haven't been hugged to death or eaten. Okay, I admit we're not at the top of our game, but you can't throw us out just because we've made a few mistakes. I'm just doing my job. Uh huh. Sure. <laughs> I take it blasting your way through hordes of allegedly psychopathic puppets is a normal day at work for you, hmm? Seriously, Gordon, who hurt you? The uh, world. What are you talking about? No? So you were just born a bully? I'm not a bully. Surprised you're not a detective. They're always bashing down doors and brandishing guns. Or maybe a GI to give you a chance to rampage through some small defense. Don't say that, Ricky. Say what? Don't talk about the war. Why not? Just saying. Seems like exactly the sort of place you got. That better not have wasted one of my bullets. <sighs> God damn it, it did. <laughs> okay, here's an interesting question then. If I don't have any I need to check that out. If I have no bullets during that cutscene... Yeah, if I have any new bullets during that cutscene, do I still pull out my gun there? In that case? Hmm. Yeah, Gordon needs a hug, man. A hug that won't try to kill him. 
Hey, Pearl. Ricky. And there we go. Shortcut unlocked. Locks. Dark. <laughs> Man, Gordon has some. Gordon has some goddamn trauma. I feel bad for the guy. There's Ray. Okay, that just circles around. That being said, I also... What was that? <sighs> give me a minute. Just give me a second to breathe. Just give me one second to catch my breath. I hate this. This is terrible. I'm tired of getting jump scared by goddamn puppets. <laughs> I'm being spooked by literal puppets. Ugh. Getting nice and cozy to make myself feel better at the very least. It's a Resident Evil game. I shouldn't be surprised there are... Ugh. I shouldn't be surprised in this Resident Evil game that I am fighting... Hmm. Dogs. Because I was 9% sure a dog. Where the hell did you even jump from? Okay, I need two batteries here. No power. Okay. I see a doghouse over there. I see multiple doghouses over there. Here, I need the green key here as well. I have my shotgun at the ready. Oh. Huh. Surprised nothing actually tried to kill me. Oh. <laughs> Last night I was watching Reno you know, the old news reels from war from the war. When one of the stories jumped out at me. In operation, a platoon of our soldiers found themselves trapped in a collapsing mine. As they ran to the entrance, one of the timbers supporting the tunnel began to fall until Private Joshua Hartway caught it on his shoulder. As he held up the wood, his friend scrambled out under his outstretched arms until after everyone else was out, he let go, and the tunnel collapsed in on him, burying him forever in the earth. When I heard that story, I felt a mixture of emotions, pity for the waste of human life, anger at the injustice of the world, but most of all, I was horrified. Horrified that a person might have to do such a thing. Horrified that it was being held up by an inspiration. To lay down your life for someone else, to lose everything, to have the veil torn, and the scraps of your life vanish into nothingness. How can anyone ask someone else to do that? Who would do that voluntarily? If you don't, do they call you a coward? Jesus Christ. Christ, man. You know what the worst part about that is? Even my... Obviously, I was born well after the Vietnam War. But even my mother talks about how... She was alive during that time. And talks about how the veterans got spit on. And even she was part of it. And she didn't realize until she was older that they were just following orders. They were just doing what they were tasked to do. And it's such a fucked up thing, but, like, god damn, dude. No.
tokens. Something else is in here. Magazine. S there's still something else in here. Jam solid? Looks like it takes liquid. Looks like it takes liquid. Looks like it takes liquid. Except it looks like it drains if the chemical is wrong. this to dissolve whatever's blocking the elevator in the hotel sometimes jams clog up the hotel elevator if this happens you can unstick it by applying the compound add the following into the mixing station bottles one jug of lumalex film de developer one gallon weed out weed killer and one tub of virtuoso trumpet polish turn on the water using the tap press the following buttons for the indicated times one to two seconds red one to two seconds green Three or four seconds. Let me write this down. God, I haven't taken notes while playing a video game. Well, I mean, I did it during Persona. But that was only for, like, a, a, a mini game. But this used to be how it was back in the day. Before... Oh, that has the key. Before it became the norm of, um... Of just going online to look things up, you had to write down uh, all this shit. Like if you if you go back far enough and search on Reddit, you'll find people who made like entire comprehensive maps to memorize things. Like back in the day when it came to the Legend of Zelda, who boy, I hope you had, I hope you were able to take real good map notes. Lumalex, weed out. W K. Weed killer. Virtuoso. Trumpet polish. Film. Probably don't need to write that little detail for the names of the items, but still. So red. One to two. Green. One to two. Blue, three to four, and green, two to three. Okay. Hey, the triangle key. So yeah, I need to get the liquid first. So I can go into there. Hey, battery. Magazine. I can go back and help the other puppets now. Where does this lead? Did it take me back to the sewers? Sometimes we would drop our 
Yes, it does. Perfect. I can help right now. Perfect. Not dealing with it. Not right now. <laughs> hey, y'all. I'm Norman. I'm a really normal guy. I just kind of uh, show up to be a friendly face in the background. Uh, sometimes. Fucking do it. <laughs> Knew it! God damn, knew it, man. Hey! Okay, there's another piece of the medallion that I was looking for for so long. Okay... Do I have any duct tape? No. Still don't know the code for that is yet. And I believe this is a save point room, right? So I can store my stuff in here and get that other piece of the medallion? God, this is creepy. Where is this save point room? Oh. Huh. Okay, then. So the boats are all disabled. I can't go back to the other areas. Okay. Hey yo, I'm Norman. I'm a really normal guy. <gasps> Where are we starting? Oh! You think this might happen to be a save room? No, that's where I get the solvent. Okay, okay, game plan. We're gonna go back upstairs, go to the save room. <laughs> I'm a friend! <laughs> I can spew all sorts of things. I don't care. So yeah, we're gonna go back upstairs. Deposit some room to get our, uh... <laughs> yeah, we're gonna go back up the elevator. Is it gonna give me an access back to the other room at any point? Or, no, he's had to go back through the basement. Okay, okay. But yeah, so what I need to do is go back up, the epic room for the medallion, pick it up, and then come back. You are so fast. When you go to the park, bring some food for all the wild animals. Right? There's not a safe point. Yeah. Man, this item management. I am very not good at this concept. Oh! Holy shit!
Okay. Shit. They're immortal. That fucking tacular. Okay, 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 okay. So, stash. Move this to here, and in turn, move this to here. Which should. Not quite. Wait, maybe? Ye there we go. I. <laughs> I didn't need to do that. Okay, okay, okay. So now we're going to go... We're going to go pick up the medallion, bring it back here. How many bullets with my handgun does this take to knock him out? Quite a lot. Great. No, go away. So you take a lot of ammo. And I can't bind you down with duct tape. That's annoying. Hello. <laughs> to be fair, I need to burn the ammo anyway. And I honestly, that's all honestly on me for not checking beforehand to see if I had the capabilities to just... Storing the puff stuff already. You know, after getting a story about how some a guy just... Sacrificed himself. <laughs> Sacrificed himself to save his friends. That is a very depressing sight now. Wait, was it here that the save room was in? Did I just waste a lot of time? God damn it, I'm dumb. Whatever. Look, I I have never once said I was good at games like this. Okay, so let me stash this. What do you mean box full? Fuck it. Even my goddamn box that holds equipment can get full? Are you joking? That's against the rules. Okay, stash. And then... Take... Okay, so I can't combine them here. So stash, take, stash. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. When you go to the park, bring some food for all the wild animals. Hey, hey, hey. No. Film developer. Is that the only thing in here? No. Apparently there's something else in here. Where? Oh. 
Ah, oh, yes, real. The city has been a recent economic downturn as a new wave of corporations have emerged, categorizing, categorized by aggressive policies that place profits before well-being consumers. One such corporation, Nez Burudan Abridge Prizes, has been acquiring real estate at a rapid pace, in many cases evicting the current tenants, as part of a program to reshape the city into a community more conducted to business practices. You can't make an omelet without breaking a few eggs, said Ronald Rich Botcher. CEO of that company in a recent interview. While it may be painful for some, we are helping create a city that can withstand the future. Uh, Alright. Okay. Is that everything in here? Yeah. So... I still can't get into the sound area. But I can go help go into that locked door now. It seems like. Uncaring. So, yeah, it seems like I can go into that area there and get whatever item I need. Okay. What happens if I shoot you off the rails? Probably nothing. <laughs> Raise lair, stay away. No. Hey, hey! That's not gonna fix it! Plug seems incomplete. So I need some kind of plug for over here before I can help Ray. But now that I have the green key, there's a lot more areas that I can access. Like over there. So is there anything at stage four I still need to do? Yeah, there's something over there. There's two places at stage four I can access now. Or maybe just one. Sewers, I'm all good. But apparently, I need to come in from the office to get into the basement. Music studio here. How do I get into the basement from the... From there. Okay. And I have another reel there. Okay. All right. We got the green key. Let's go help people out. Die! Oh, you can't knock him over the edge. Yeah, I can go back from here.
sorry that I checked the map so much, but I, I just need to have my bearings. I just truly do. I like how they... They're just always blocking the right place. It's annoying. Bye. That is creepy as shit, man. I can get to that door before he hits me. I can save on ammunition. There we go. Are you kidding me? to go. Stage four. Are you joking? Are these things just going to be around the entire map now? Get out of here. God damn it. They're making it harder to backtrack, which makes sense, but still. Green key here. Playground key. Okay. So this is a key for the starting? For that, yeah, on the playground over there. Okay. What's what even be in there? Lunch is my favorite meal of the day. I always eat the food that most represents how I'm feeling at lunch. Pardon me. So I go downstairs to circle around. Have I used my green key fully yet? No.
So through here. I don't need to waste that. Through here. Right. I don't know the code for this yet. Or what this is for. Okay. So I'll, this area is done for right now. Oh, wait. I can unlock this and give myself a shortcut, though, right? That's ominous. Okay. So now I just leave. Yeah. Yeah. And now I go back to the offices, which is directly across. Is that just one covered in stone or made of stone? Okay. So I can get to the music studio now. And I already forgot where the save room in here was. How much room do I have? I have room for a little more. Let me go down first. To get whatever those locked rooms are and use my green key again. They're here, too? Oh, I don't like this. Oh, that's terrifying. Nothing. Hey, a real. Where am I right now? I have no reflection. Am I a vampire? It is too dark in here, man. Huh? Uh, what? Hey! Okay. There's still something in here somewhere? Got a 
it's so dark in some of these corners. Ah. Nice. Okay, so now I can... So I can go back to the offices and explore the rest of there. Also, I can put this reel in the projection. And I can also help Ray. Why is it so fucking dark? <laughs> Fuck you. You too. I don't like the presence of just the omnipresent enemy that I can't take down and is stupidly fast. I hate it. I hate it so much. Is that the last use of the green key? No. But that was the red last use of the red key. So I can put the red key away now when I find another save room. In recent years, television viewership has surged, and television programming has multiplied and diversified as broadcasters scramble to capitalize on a rapidly growing audience. New favorites like Crime City and Drama Daily have grown quickly in popularity as the war generation ages and their children begin to enter the ranks of adulthood. Imitate their parents' viewing habits. In the same period, however, my friendly neighborhood's ratings have plummeted. While surveys suggest that the show is as popular as ever with the under six crowd, the new generation of parents is less and less interested in showing it to their children, preferring instead the mainstream offerings of, like Dinosaur Mayhem. They have prompted the News City Network Broadcasting Group to put pressure on MFN Studios to reimagine the core principles of this series. And that's where everything went so goddamn wrong. So let me guess. They were forced to watch, like, this ultra-violent stuff and in turn cause these guys to go mad. Yeah, just so I can use the health lax before I forget it in here and never come back. Yeah, because I know myself. And I know if I don't take it now, I will forget it and never come back to get it. And then I'll but well, I'll come back here being like, is there something in here? Music studio. Nice. Is that it? No. Another magazine. Oh, no, no, no. That was... Yeah, the trumpet polish. Family developer trumpet polish. Nice, 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 nice. Apparently there's a door over here? Oh, it's blocked. Yeah, it's utterly blocked. I can't get over there. Okay, okay, okay. So... Now, if I go to the third floor and get to the projection room, I can do something. Okay. Literally the only thing I want out of this game so far is like an option that says, hey, this exact room is the save room. And you can make an argument saying, well, just remember the room's better. I, I'm dumb.
This door's still locked, right? Yeah. Isn't... Now that I think about it, isn't what's happening in with Sesame Street literally right now almost what's happening in this story? Not with a, you know, crazy, super evil puppet. Or not... They're not evil. They're They're crazy. But apparently Sesame Street wants to make more story-based content, or like not story-based content per se, but more story-based focused on the things they're doing. I hope that doesn't like tarnish the things that people like about Sesame Street. It's not everything needs to be like so Yeah, I hope that doesn't turn to things people like about Sesame Street, which is just, you know, just a feel-good show, you know? Okay. God. Is she depressed? Oh my God. Did I just give that puppet depression? Oh my god. Oh, I feel so bad. Goblet, I'm so sorry. Or Gobletta, I'm so sorry. Holy fucking shit. can get you down sometimes, huh? First time I ever saw a movie as a kid, there was this scene of a man riding into this big blazing sunset, and I remember when it came up, it just caught me. I don't know if it was the plot or the music or what, but my heart just suddenly leapt, like, like I had just heard an old friend calling my name. I sort of forgot myself and turned around, thinking someone was behind me. But all I saw was a little star of light coming from the projection booth. No one else turned around. They all were just focused on the screen. But it felt so real, so solid. I <laughs> never knew what to make of that. And eventually I forgot about it. I guess during the war I got distracted. Just came back to me now. A 
A star of lights. You enjoy your movie, Goblet. You enjoy that movie. I just gave a puppet depression. I feel really bad. Okay. So is this door over here still locked? Yes. Okay. Oh my god. Holy fucking shit, this game is really goddamn good. I thought I was just getting a Resident Evil game. Instead, I'm getting this rather deep and philosophical look onto the hardships of war and what it does not just to the people inside of it, but also to... Yeah, not just to the people inside it where, where it's happening to, but also to what it affect, how it affects the world and how it affects people's viewpoints of the world. Oh my god. I, I'm sorry that I went silent, it's just, I, I did not expect this game where I'm fighting psychotic puppets. Get the fuck out of here. I didn't expect this game to just be so deep and philosophical in some of its issues. I just really didn't. Alright. That being said, I'm done with two more keys. I'm done with both the keys. So next save room, I can stash those things away forever. Oh. Worn out and scratched. Is that it? Just a secret extra area? Okay. God damn, dude. Okay. So, I guess we're done with here now. So now, is it just the sewers that we need to handle? Yeah, we can go back into the sewers and help right now. I can pop this now and not feel bad about it. Okay. Yeah, I can put the thing in and help Ray back down in the sewers. But I can get to the sewers. So if I take that elevator, I can't get all the way through. Okay, so my best bet is literally to go back through the... Shit, where'd I get down from? Garden. I went from the garden. Okay, so I need to head back to the garden. Did this game came out this year, right? Jesus. If this game came out this year, I am in... Wait, was this this year or last year this game came out? Look, all that matters is that 2023, if this game came out this year, this is just yet another game to showcase just how good of a year in gaming 2023 was. Because, god damn.
there's no reason for this game to hit this goddamn deep. There really is no reason for it. Okay. Where are the gardens? Okay, and back inside we go. God damn, dude. I'm, we're ending in the same place we started. <sighs> Alright, I think that's a pretty good place to stop. <laughs> I'm just, I'm sorry, I'm just so, like, taken aback just how deep this game is. When I started this game, I did not expect to be, like, asked philosophical questions and, like, actually thought deep thought provoking processes on just the the concepts of war and what it does to people i i just i don't know what i expected but it wasn't this i'm not upset that i'm this is what i'm getting i'm just baffled you know oh all right so yeah right now i think this is a pretty decent place to stop when we return we're gonna so when we return what we're gonna do we're going to go get the go to the thing in the playground get that then we're gonna go back to the sewers and help ray i think that's gonna be our plan but yeah for right now i think this is a pretty good stopping point when we return yeah that's what we're gonna do i know i'm rambling but again jesus christ i want everyone out there to have a good morning evening day or night wherever you're at but for right now i am out later